Hey, welcome everyone, welcome to another video of the beginner's playlist of Naruto X Boruto Ninja Voltage. Today we are going to see how to link your data account or uh, transfer your data to another device in order to have your account safe and don't lose all your progress in the game, okay? So, first of all, I would like to thank you because we just reached 1,000 subscribers and that's something amazing. Uh, I don't know, as a content creator, uh, reach that goal is something really, really important. So, I want to thank you, first of all. Okay, so, well, as you, as you may know, uh, you will find timestamps in the description of the video where you can go to specific parts that you may be interested. But honestly, this is a this is a really important video, so uh, I will recommend you to watch all 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 the video. Okay, I would like to talk first about linked data and then about data transfer and the importance of these of those two things. So here in the title screen, you will find in the left corner the a bottom that says support. So you click on support and then you click on link data. This is the first step you need to do to to have your account safe, okay? So uh, when you click on link data, there will appear three options. To link your data with uh, Facebook, with Game Center or with a or with Apple ID, okay? I would recommend you to link your data with Facebook and due to and because that the most of us use Facebook, well, I would recommend you to do that. So after after you click on link data, it will it will uh, the game will ask you for the details of your Facebook account. So make sure that you use an account that uh, you are not gonna lose. So after that, the game will will show you this screen where it's only to confirm your data link uh, process. Okay, so you have to verify your user ID, your player name, and your level. Once you confirm that the information is correct. Well, you click on yes, uh, this is my account, and that's it. You will have your account link to Facebook or whatever the option you may choose, okay? So, that's the first step. If you link your account with Facebook, in Facebook, remember to go to the options where it says uh, apps and games, and you need to make sure that in Facebook, actually, there is uh, the link with Naruto X Boruto Ninja Voltage. So, in that way, you will be sure that the game is linked to your to your account. And also, make sure that in Facebook, inside the Naruto X Boruto configuration, there is a user ID that they the, that Facebook will give you. Uh, please write down that user ID in another, in a, I don't know, in a notebook of yours or in a safe place or take a screenshot, whatever you you want to have that number safe because you, you could use that number if you have some problems with your account. Okay, so right now let's talk about how to transfer your data within devices with the uh, same operative system or with devices with different operative systems. The first option is uh, transfer your data between uh, different devices but with the same operative systems. Uh, by that I mean, uh, for example, you have an Android and you want to transfer your data to another Android. Or you have an iPhone and you want to transfer your data to another iPhone. Okay, The same operative system. So you have your old device and you have your new device. In the new device, you will uh, download the app Naruto X Boruto Ninja Voltage. Uh, I mean, you you download the game, and and once you download the game, you go to the title screen that is this one. Okay, then the process is the same. You will click on support. You will click you will click on link data, and it will ask for the details of your account. So, for example, if you have your data link with Facebook in your new in your new device 
puts the information of the Facebook that you linked to Naruto X Boruto Ninja Voltage. So it's it gonna appear you the same thing, your user ID, your player name, and your level. Make sure that this information is correct. Once you check out that it's correct, uh, select yes, and then the process will start. They will link your data to this new device, and you will not be able to play with your same account in your old device. But please, please consider this. Don't uh, delay the game in your old device until you are playing in your new device. I mean, till you are sure that you are playing with your account in the new device, until that moment, you can delay the game of your old device. Because if you first delay the game in your old device, and then you try to link your data to your new device, that will not be possible, okay? So first of all, don't do anything in, in your old device until you until you are playing in your account in your new device okay well, let's go to the explanation of what is the process to transfer your data to another device with different uh, operative system we are here in the main menu we go to settings we go to data transfer we click on data transfer uh, the game will show us our user id okay uh, I know that in this screen you are seeing also another another part that it says password, but uh, the first time that you do this, the game is only gonna show you your user ID. Please, 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 write down do your user your user ID. Okay, this user ID is really important because this user ID is uh, your ID for the game. Okay. So right now let's go to the process of transfer your data between devices with different operative system. So once you are here in this menu where they show you your user ID, you will have a button that says issue data transfer password. So you will like to click on that and they will give you a password. So right now here you are seeing that the game shows me a user ID and a data transfer password. So you have to consider that the password that the game gives you will only be available for two weeks. So make sure that you also write down that password or or, or that you uh, or, or, or take a screenshot to have that password uh, saved because you will need it. It's really important to consider that this password is renewing every two weeks. Well, you have to renew it every two weeks if you are going to transfer your data. So, okay, so once you do this, uh, please don't delete the game in your old device. Don't do that, okay? What you need to do is to, in your new device, uh, download the game, open the title screen of the game in your new device, and you will go to and you will and you will click on the support button then there will appear these options you will click on data transfer and when you click on that the game will ask you for your user id and your password so this is the time where you will write there your user id and your password okay so once you write down those two things, the game will send you this message. Well, it's only to confirm that the information is correct. So check out please that is the same is your use is your user ID, that is your player name, and that is the level that you have in the game. So once you confirm that this is correct, you click OK and you need to wait until the process is complete because the game will be downloading all your information and when all your information is downloaded uh, please in your new device start to play with your account so in that way you will be sure that all the information of your account is displayed correct so after you are sure that is your account and it is displayed correct in the in the new in the new device till that moment you can delete 
your game in your old device, okay? Till that moment, because if you do that before, you may have uh, problems. So please consider that. And also, as I told you before, if you do, if you transfer the data between devices with different operative systems, you will lose your Shinobytes. So if you had an Android and you transfer your data to an iPhone, you will lose your Shinobytes. If you have, if you have an iPhone and you transfer your data to an Android, you will lose your um, uh, Shinobytes. Okay. Uh, the only way to not to lose your Shinobytes is to link your account between devices with the same operative system which I already explained in the first part of the video. So well, that's everything for this video. I know that maybe I go with, uh, I explain a lot of details but I think that it's really really important to have these details in mind because you don't want to lose all the progress that you have done in the game and I don't know, please let in the comments uh, what do you think about this video and if it was useful for you, okay? So, see you in more videos.